Good evening folks, welcome to another episode of Beer Aiding with Sean Connors. Another beer from my beer club. Uh, this one is Basin Black Lager from Stack Brewing out of Sudbury, Ontario. As I said, this one is from my beer club, so basically with the beer club comes a newsletter that tells me a little bit about each beer in each brewery. I've never done one from this brewery, so I'll read what they say. It says, the idea of Sudbury Stack Brewing came, came about by Sean Maylox and Michael Gillamont, fans of good beer, born and raised in the Nickel City. After years of drinking beer that were not quite right for them and their friends, they decided to brew a beer that would appeal to casual and seasoned drink, beer drinkers alike. Stack is a small operation with big hearts, smiles, and ideas. The demand for Stack beer has been so great since launch that the team has to work tireless to keep up with the demand for their amazing brews. And the beer I got, as I said, it's a Basin Black Lager. It says it's a combination of two styles, a nice hint of roast completed by notes of chocolate and coffee from the darker malts. Thanks to the lager yeast and lagering process, the sip completes itself with a clean and crisp finish. Hmm. I've had a few dark lagers, not a lot. Um, to me, it's almost like in between a Pilsner and a Stout or a Porter. But obviously, it's dark, as to be expected, with a dark head. Not a lot of head here, but the little bit that is, is darker in color. And let's see what it says on the can. Basin Dark Lager at 5.2% alcohol. And I can smell it from here, and honestly, if I didn't know what I was drinking, I would think it's a porter or a stout. And it says, the Sudbury Basin formed due to an impact of the Noonan supercontinent 1.8 billion years ago. Like the comet that created the Sudbury Basin, this dark lager is formed with all natural ingredients and fermented cold over a long time. Dark in color with the chocolate and coffee aroma that leads to a smooth and clean finish you are sure, we are sure you will love. So it's, and... Don't be a dummy, recycle this can. And that's about it. So as I said, I can already get the aroma of it. And it's a coffee and chocolate. Is that what they said? That's what I'm getting. Yep, chocolate and coffee. I'm definitely getting that just from the aroma alone. Like I said, just from the aroma, I would think I'm drinking either porter or stout. See how it drink, how it uh, tastes. Um, it tastes to me like a really light porter, but easier drinking. And what I mean by that, um, for me, porters and stouts, it's a different mouthfeel. Um, like when you drink a glass of milk, you know how you get that creaminess sensation in your mouth? That's kind of what I often get with porters and stouts. If to me, this tastes like a light porter or light stout without that creamy mouthfeel, which to me makes it more crushable, easier to drink. Um, rating wise, for me, I think this is going to be pretty straightforward. A three point zero is nothing wrong with it. I don't think it'd ever be my favorite go-to beer by any means, but I'd never turn one down. Especially if I was wanting something different. With that being said, if you've never had a porter or a stout and you're kind of intimidated by it, but you want to try dark beers, this might be one of the ones that you would, uh, might be worthwhile to try for the first time just to see what you think about it with the flavors of coffee and chocolate, which are probably with the more main ingredients in, in porters and stouts, without the heaviness, in my opinion. Uh, my ratings, again, are out of five, with one being a drain port, don't like it, can't finish it. Literally going to pour it down the drain. And two is, mm, I'm not a fan, but I don't want to waste it, so I'll finish it. A three being a good beer, a four being a very good beer, and a five would be the best beer ever. And as I said, this one is pretty straightforward for me. I'm going to take one more mouthful. Yeah, it's pretty easy drinking for a dark beer, so I think I'll stick with the 3.0. So here you go, folks, for the... I say Stack Brewery Brewings Basin Dark Lager 3.0. I think I have one or two more beers from my last uh, shipment. And I got new beers coming in hopefully next week. So until next beer, as always, enjoy it responsibly. Cheers.